Why they do this for the tourists? No, this is for the birds land. You need birds land, change birds land. Halas. They, they did it? Three years, finish, halas. You stop people going to Sana. Yeah, yeah go to Sana. To, to protest for the president yeah. or against the president. Yeah. While the world was focusing on the Arab Spring in Tunisia, Egypt and Libya, I'd come to Yemen sensing it would be next. I wondered how revolution would affect this country, the poorest and most heavily armed in the Arab world. In a way, any kind of change here would be a bloodbath, wouldn't it? Because everyone's got a gun. It's not a bloodbath, but it would be blood uh, swing to. Meaning what? What's the difference? Blood bath will be a few hundreds. Blood swimming pill will be thousands. In the capital Sana, protesters are calling for the 33 year corrupt rule of President Ali Abdullah Saleh to end. Determined to not follow the same fate as other Arab leaders, he's offering concessions, hoping to cling on to power. But unrest is breaking out all over the country and now threatening the only tour Case has managed to get all year. <laughs> This is the president's word. What's he saying? Wait, right, it's bigging, it's going to be bloody. A spate of killings and kidnappings almost destroyed tourism in Yemen. Today, Case barely survives, running cut down tours with Eastern Europeans, the only people brave enough to holiday here these days. When a tribe kidnaps you, it's a pleasure. <laughs> they don't harm you, they don't steal your money. They just have demands from the government. And Abdullah was kidnapped. Oh, was he? Yeah. Abdullah! Abdullah! Oui. What happened when you were kidnapped? <laughs> No beating, nothing. They gave them meat, they were good. they brought them honey. Even they put for them tents. 